Hey guys, I'm Evan Weeder and I'm racing in Grid Life's Club TR. This is my 1995 Honda Civic DX hatchback. It has a K24A2, technically called EG 2.0. Later on we can kind of get into why it's called EG 2.0. So to start out with the story of this car, I bought it back in late June of 2020. Last year at this event, spring kickoff, I got in a massive uh, collision with another car and it ended up totaling my old shell. So I ended up buying a new shell like probably within a month after that incident happened. It was a completely bare chassis. There was nothing, there was no engine. I mean, it was basically a roller and like all the bolts were just like hand tight. The first thing to do was get the cage done. I had my good friend Cody Loveland build me this amazing cage. It's made out of Dolcol R6. I think that's what the material is. So after the cage, then it was my turn to basically put the car together. I actually used the same drivetrain from my silver car into this platform. So I did a lot of like the engine bay painting. I did the entire interior paint. I think I rewired a little bit of like the interior harness a little bit. And then basically it was just putting together like all the parts. I built the car probably in like two months. So literally it's like a three month span of getting this car from a bare shell to a full running like track car. All the sponsors that you see on the side of this car like helped me out and it's been like a true blessing to have. So many companies, so many people like reach out to me and like provide products or like any any form of support, even if it's like, I hope you're doing well, like how you feeling, et cetera. It really just means a lot because I'm kind of like a really like quiet, like introverted guy. And I really don't like express myself like out on social media a whole lot, but I'm starting to get into it now because I have like a little bit more of a following on Instagram. The whole acuity opportunity happened because my friend Grant, I've been talking with him like at the time, like, oh, like we're, I'm reaching out to acuity and I think we're gonna work out a deal. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. So Grant and I were kind of just like joking around on Instagram and they ended up like sharing like our conversation. I told him the whole story of what happened with my crash and whatnot. And I think it actually was Russ. He like sent me a message like, hey, Evan, this is Russ. Uh, please get a hold of me with your background, your racing background uh, via email and some pictures. Then we'll just go from there. So that's kind of how it like all tumbled and now I'm part of the Acuity team, which is freaking awesome. So the Acuity products that I'm running in the engine bay, I have this beautiful anodized black Acuity fuel rail, and I have the Dash 8 ORB caps on both ends, and I'm running the returnless fuel setup, so I have a Dash 6 AN fitting uh, right at the center. And then I'm running this trusty Acuity TPS that I've had in the car for basically since I've had a K-Series. I'm running this beautiful oil cap as well. I've never had an issue with this one in particular, unscrewing it. It has like the perfect grip to it. And also looks like you can put almost like a screwdriver. You can kind of like jam it in there and break it loose. And then you can also use a 15 millimeter um, socket and then remove that if it is like really seized up in there. So one thing I love about Acuity products too is there are a bunch of like uh, instructions that are laser engraved on all of their products. So you can just like look down at the product. Okay, well, if you wanna put a gauge on the fuel rail, you just have to find an eighth inch MPT, like fuel pressure gauge or like an adapter, whatever you wanna use for that. And then it also says like the port size is the dash eight ORB thread. So there you go. You can just look at the product and then you can go online and purchase whatever like adapter or fitting you need for it. Oh, yeah, it's a pain in the butt to get in with a roll cage. <laughs> so this is the FK8, I think it's the FK8 10th gen uh, shifter. And this isn't really necessarily supposed to be in this car, of course, but pairing it with this base plate and the FK8 cables, it is like hands down the most ergonomic like shifter I've ever used. And it is so stout too. And I've misshifted like several times with the old shifter that I use. So I'm happy to say that I haven't had a single incident of misshifting whatsoever with this shifter. I love it. It's so stout, it's so mechanical. It's like straight to the point. There's no slop. It gets the job done with like minimal like effort and hassle. 
So basically the recipe for like a pretty good track car is a K24, preferably you can get with like an 06 spec uh, K24 A2 and you get a 50 degree VTC gear, uh, type S oil pump, and it's literally a recipe for like 240 to the wheels on pump gas. And then you can also get an eighth gen or a ninth gen uh, Z3 transmission because it has an OEM helical LSD in it and that's what I have, but I upgraded to an OS Geekin. So the reliability of a K-Series is amazing. I mean, you can basically go out there, turn laps, come in and check tire pressures and then sit down and just relax. Like they're so reliable. You just need to make sure that you're like, you top up all your fluids and you're checking your oil pressure, et cetera. I think the best part that I installed on this has to be that OS Geek and uh, plated LSD. And I also did 245s on the front with a 15 by nine tire. So those two combined literally put me in the sub 40 class or the sub 140 like time here in Jidgerman. And that's kind of like a grassroots staple that everybody wants to like chase is like a sub 140. So me, with the history of grid life, I've been basically partaking in these events like ever since the, the origin of it. I think like the first year I was like a spectator. I was just doing like HPDE for like the first couple of years and then ended up actually transferring into the Time Attack or the Track Battle series. I think the first ever event I did was with my first K24 swap in my old shell at the time. So realistically, I just, I like to do like Time Attack and like just like road racing, tracking my car for fun. I really just love like racing here. Like I've been tracking at Gingerman for like close to a decade now. And like, this is like my home track. One thing I love about grid life is honestly like the friends and like the actual like grid life family that you get to know. To be honest, like I wouldn't have this car if it was for like the grid life family because they went over and beyond and helped me like get this car set up the way it is today. Without them, like I would probably like still be sitting on the sidelines, like trying to save up money. So I'm like really thankful for every single person that really like helped me out with this. What I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this year is I'm actually going to Import Alliance. Um, I'm actually gonna be at the Acuity booth. My car's gonna be featured there, which is, I'm pretty thankful for that. So I'll be doing that. I think it's the last weekend in July. After that, I'm doing Mid-Ohio the first weekend of August. And then hopefully I'll get in for the Midwest Fest uh, back here, I think in mid-September. So yeah, at the Import Alliance event, um, if you guys wanna come find us and check out the booth, I mean, um, my car will be here. I will be there as well. Please come and say hi and I'll definitely like show you around the car if you have any questions. I'm definitely more than happy to like talk about my car and give you some pointers on how to get your track car set up for your next event.